Hi, in this video, we are going to talk about ideal batch reactor for a single reaction. So this is part of the reactor design and uh, for the entirety of this discussion, I am going to refer to developing the performance equations for a single fluid reacting in an ideal reactor. Okay, and basically what I am going to talk about are homogeneous reactions and today's highlight is on the batch reactor okay so we are talking about batch reactor today now in a batch reactor uh, if you if you draw a batch reactor it is like a reacting vessel okay and it uh, has a stirrer in it so uh, let me just close this vessel uh, there is one input point and there is also one outlet point. So what happens is you charge the uh, vessel with your reactants and they are very well mixed. So I am going to write this thing. Reactants are charged into the vessel. And then uh, mixing takes place. And left for a time period. So the reactants are left in the reactant, uh, reactor for a certain time. So that they can react. And the final mixture is then discharge through the outlet okay this uh, batch reactor characterizes unsteady state operation okay why because the composition changes with time so here composition changes with time but at any instant of time at any particular instant of time the composition throughout the reactor remains uniform okay so these are uh, the main characteristics of the ideal batch reactor now to find the performance equation what we do is we make the material balance for one component so let me assume that we have a reaction taking place as a gives product Okay, so I am going to use this components balance to establish the performance equation, right? Now, I have already said that in a batch reactor, the composition is uniform throughout any instant of time. So, at a particular instant, the composition throughout the reactor will remain uniform, okay? And also, <clears throat> when we talked about material balance, uh, we have, uh, you know, established the law of conservation of mass for uh, writing the material balance for each type of reactor. So we know that the general equation is accumulation is equals to input minus output minus consumption for a reactant. Okay, remember this for a reactant this is the material balance equation now in uh, a batch reactor this input and output terms are not present so you simply have that the negative of accumulation term is equals to the loss of a within the reactor due to reaction so how much ever of a is getting consumed within the reactor that is expressed as the negative of accumulation rate of a let me write this as whole accumulation rate of a within the reactor okay now uh, this uh, disappearance of a or loss of a is basically due to the reaction process 
so if you want to write this part so the first i am writing the right hand side the right hand side becomes minus ra multiplied by v now what is this v v is the volume of the reacting fluid okay and minus ra is simply the rate of reaction of it so we have talked about minus ra at length but this v over here is the volume of liquid that is reacting so this is our uh, consumption term for a now coming to the accumulation term so already we have a negative sign over here accumulation term is written as dna dt that is change in number of moles of a with respect to time okay this again can be written as minus na0 dxa dt equals to minus ra multiplied by v why so because na0 is the initial number of moles of a present and dxa gives the change in conversion with respect to change in time dt okay so this makes for our performance equation now if we uh, you know replace all of these things and uh, we try to obtain the uh, integrated format of the equation so i'm just going to directly write the integrated form then i can write t equals to na0 0 to xa dxa by minus ra dot v so starting from uh, conversion of a uh, being 0 to the final conversion of a you are integrating the terms under the integral and na0 is a constant at the starting point of the uh, reaction so that is out of the integral this gives us the general equation or rather general performance equation for a batch reactor now uh, this t over here is the time taken to reach conversion xa okay and this equation is valid for either isothermal or non isothermal case okay this is the general equation now the uh, volume of the reacting fluid and the reaction rate like i said will remain under the integration sign uh, because they are changing as the reaction proceeds or progresses forward now uh, if like in when we are talking about batch reactor there is a concept of whether density is varying or not so if i assume that that if density of the fluid the reactant fluid remains constant okay then you can resolve the general equation as t equals to ca0 integral 0 to xa dxa minus r a because now v is not changing so v also comes out of the integral and therefore you can write na0 by v which is essentially ca0 okay this can again be rewritten as negative of ca0 to ca dca by minus r a and like i said the density of the fluid remains constant so there is no uh, volume ratio factor over here okay so uh, this is ideally uh, what we would follow for liquid phase reactions okay and maybe some gas phase reactions which are taking place in a constant density condition now uh, there are systems where density can vary so we'll take that case up which is for most gas phase uh, reactions if density of the 
fluid varies then the general equation becomes t equals to n a 0 integration 0 to x a d x a divided by minus r a into v 0 1 plus epsilon a x a. If you remember when we were talking about uh, the special cases and when we were talking about the uh, you know stoichiometry for uh, variable volume batch reactor. So, we had said that the reaction mixture can the volume of reaction mixture can change proportionately with the conversion. So, this is that proportionate uh, expression. Okay. You can just relate back to the uh, part where I have spoken about that. It's I have spoken about this if I remember correctly when I was talking about uh, varying volume uh, batch reactors. So, you can look at that uh, lecture and you will understand what I am talking about. Now, if you want to express this in terms of concentration, then you can simply write C A 0 from 0 to X A you are integrating D X A by minus R A multiplied by 1 plus epsilon A X A. Okay. So, this is for uh, your system where density of the fluid varies. Okay. Now, uh, like how would we uh, plot this? So, there is a visualization that is given in uh, Levin's spell book. I am just going to show that to you. So, if you plot the conversion of A on the x axis, so starting from 0 to x A final, whichever uh, is that value, obviously it would not be greater, uh, greater than 1. And on your y axis, you plot 1 by minus R A into V, then you will get a plot like this, and area under this curve that is equals to T by N A 0. Okay. This is for the general case, but if you have a constant density system, let me write here this is for the general case, but if you have a constant density system, then that V term has no role to play, right, because uh, V is not changing, it is not under the integral anymore. So, again you plot uh, X A on the X axis from 0 to x a final and uh, on your y axis you plot minus 1 by r a. Then when you get the curve, so area under this curve, this area under the curve will signify t by c a 0. Okay. So, this is how uh, we obtain the performance equation for the ideal batch reactor considering a single reaction. Uh, in the upcoming uh, lectures, we will talk about the performance equation for ideal flow reactors. Now, under flow reactors, we have uh, two types of reactors which we will talk about in detail. Till then, thank you.